just to get the body tuned, the body and mind connected, just sit in the Gyan Mudra, just take 30 seconds of deep breath to make your mind still not going outward, but going inward. And relax. Next, sitting in Gyan Mudra, shoulder back, back straight, eyes closed, take a deep breath and chant Om for three times. Uh... Gently take your both hands up in the air, rub this together. And color your face with it. Massaging your face, back of the neck, your shoulders, your arm, your body, and the neck. That makes the body in the active state to get the maximum benefit of prayer. One of the first prayer we do is the bastika, which helps to expand the lung capacity by 30% and more chance of giving more oxygenated blood. So sitting in Gyan Mudra, back is safe again. And also if you do in Kitchen Mudra, the breath is deeper. So it makes you makes you so you take less breath than normal, so more chance of your lung expanding. This is scan with the do deep breathing for three minutes.
Start the, with the light exercise as well. Just leg one, you know, toes and yeah, you just don't mind. Just stretch our legs. Okay. Yeah. And just massage your calf muscle. We're going to do toes exercise. So it's good for your arthritis and the gap. So if we just you breathe in and out and move your toes inwards <coughs> and outwards. It's got a gout as well. Gout is built up of uric acid that we eat in our food and goes in, mixes with our blood. And it goes into the kidney. And if you 
the level rises high, it causes swelling, inflammation, and gout. So that's what's called gout. So that breathe in and out, in and out. So this is very good exercise for arthritis and the gout, and for the, any swelling as well. <laughs> and you just tap it. It's loosen the muscles a bit. <clears throat> and then we will rock it clockwise. One, two, breathe in and out. We do it 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> then we'll do reverse. Ten, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. <coughs> then leg apart, and we will just do the right first. This is <coughs> good for your feet as well because you're going in and out in your knees. Next, we will do the leg exercise. So support your knee with your hand, and then breathe in and lift up. Breathe out. Now you rotate, make a full circle. Reverse. Then we do cycling, so you push up. And then reverse. And then we do the same with the other leg. Up, down. And <coughs> rotate. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Not cycling. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Just <coughs> Next, we will do the right, hip um, exercise. So we bring your leg, your foot over the left thigh, and then with the right hand, bring your knee and try to touch your nose, support the other ankle, sorry, hand with, ankle with the other hand, and then bring it down as you breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Then we do the exercise on your ankle, so you rotate clockwise. It's good as well for your ankle and your swelling as well. And then do the reverse 10 times. And then we, we just pressure point all your toes on the sides. Middle, and then you, <coughs> your your liver point so between your two toes, in the front, and then you just tap it, and then you rock like a baby. <laughs> 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 right. We do the same thing with the other leg. Here you bring it. And you bring in, breathe in, breathe out. Two, three, four, sorry, five, 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 five three times. But then we do rotate the ankle. One, two, four, five, six. Another way around. One, Three, four, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> then do all the pressure point. And this side. Then rub it and then tap it. So stimulating all your organs, you do it. And then again, you rock like a baby. Next, you do that. Take, take place, a butterfly. This is again good for your hips and your sciatic pain as well. So just roll. <coughs> Next, we will do the nitric oxide exercise because we are still into pandemic for COVID-19. So we're going to make sure that our lungs are stay healthy. So, so nitric oxide is, a, is an inflammation, inflammatory gas that helps prevent the uh, bacterial and viral infection. It mixes with the oxygen and it keeps your blood vessel healthy. So you have a, <coughs> your blood pressure, your blood will flow very freely. And again, the, all the exercise related to that makes you a good blood circulation. So, yeah, as you know, money you work with the children as well, and where they use the nitric oxide for young babies, where they have where they mix with oxygen to give them to improve the lung function. That's right. Yeah, sometimes they need it. Not all of it, but it's, it's very good because it's always a good result majority of the time. So you just make sure that you eat the right food as well, like celery, beetroot, all green vegetables, so you get nitrates in there. And then when you oh. when you oh, choose in the hospital, they use the nitric oxide for mouth cancer as well. So that's so the benefit of nitric oxide oh. to the body. Very important. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. They can always find more information on online. There's lots of nitric oxide, yeah. The next, so make sure that you wash your hands when you come out from outside to do the exercise and stay healthy. When you go outside, make sure you still wear the mask. <clears throat> so what we do, we do the humming that will that will help to open up your nose. There's a passage and it stimulates your vagus nerves. So you do the humming and humming exercise is vibrates and to produce the nitric oxide. So what we do, <coughs> put our hand on yeah, and hum, take a deep breath and you do humming for five times. So we start. Relax now. We will stand up and do some exercise. <laughs> For all health and safety warning, please um, uh, hope you have taken medical advice. So make sure you don't bend down forward and then and if you go back heck. And then if you go hernia, you don't go backwards. So do whatever exercise you can do it. Please do it slowly. If you get time, you stop and take a, take a rest, take a deep breath. So just look after yourself. So what else we'll do is sitting down exercise. So breathe in and out. Next, we'll do that. 
dead man's walk. <laughs> If you're tired, next we will do a star jump. So We'll do one more time because we have an anitric oxide for a few days. So we do one more time. Just take a deep breath if you are tired. So. <laughs> Jogging, jogging. So do what you can. Just look after yourself. Let me start <coughs> slowly. Whenever you're ready, take a breathe in and out. <coughs> this is all helps to expand your lungs, bring more oxygen, the blood, good blood circulation. <coughs> Legs up. <coughs> Don't need to jump, you can just stay, stand there and do it. <coughs> and stop. Legs, your hands on the hips, and we do a click. And do this. Going to do sitting down, or first we can do and do this. Whichever find you easy. Okay. Relax. We do that. Knee one. 
to support you. Knee with your hand and breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Leg apart. And then you <coughs> bring it in, go out. One, two, three, four, five. Then reverse out and then in. One, two, three, four, five. Then relax. Next, we just leg apart, hand in the front, you breathe in. Come on your right, hold and come back up with out. Do ten times. Breathe in and out. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Next, we will turn round and you just and you put your hand on your knee, break straight, other leg, breathe in, then you look up, hold it, you breathe out, then you go on left, right. Uh, left, right, left, you put a hand on the hips this time, left, oh. left, you do the Namaste. Left you. you look up. Breathe out. Left. Breathe out. Right. Breathe out. Left. Breathe out. Last time. Left. And next. Next, we're going to open the chest. So you breathe in as you go up, you breathe out, you come down. You breathe in. Next, right hand against your ear, left hand this side, and bend down as you breathe in. You touch your knees, if you bend down that far, or you can go down the ankle, whichever is suitable for you, and breathe out. And go other side. And just do it faster. If you can, do it slowly. Take a deep breath as you do it. Eight, nine, ten. Next, we're going to touch the opposite toes. The hands are tied, and if you do the opposite toes, you look up, you breathe in and out. So, that. Next, we're going to bend forward. So again, make sure that you go back here, don't go forward, don't go backwards if you don't hurt here. 
So take a deep breath. If you're tired, the body you can stop. Breathe in and breathe out. Touch your toes if you can. Oh, we touch the knees. Nine and ten. Do ten each time. Next, we're going to do the star jump. So, leg apart. No, sorry, hand apart and legs. Up. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Now we we'll do a slow jump. One, two, three. Three. Four. Two. Three. Four. 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 And stop. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. Right. Next, take a deep breath if you've been jumping. Next, we do Tadasan. So we do. Make sure you turn up your finger. When you go up, keep turn. So, just breathe in. You go up on your toes for a few seconds, then come down. This is good for your spine and your height as well, for your heights, especially for children. And keep it same. So we're going to turn left, turn down. Again, you put with the, your side muscles, your internal organs as well. Right, out, breathe in, left, breathe out, right, down, last time, right. Just relax. Next, you will do side so hands in the front and you breathe in, you go back, come back, left. Last time. Next, we will do right hand on the left shoulder and left hand behind. And you look back, you breathe in and breathe out. Do opposite. Five right times. Last time. Relax. Next, we do the Jigger dance. So make sure your hips going round Look for the rest line. Ten reverse. Good. All right. Next, we do the Side and jump for a twist. So opposite your your feet are opposite your hand. So breathe in. Twenty. Can do what you want to do, so we do this one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Sit down and then let's do a second. We're going to do some back exercise. So just take a deep breath. Okay. Let's do a second. Relax. Whenever you're ready, you lie on your back, on your tummy. Sorry. And you get yourself comfortable. Put your, put your hand on your chin. And as you're breathing out, we're going to lift one leg at a time. So breathe in. Next, we're going to do it with the both legs. And relax. You want to hold your ankle, both of them. You breathe in. And you lift your, you're going to go back with a severe back pain or go neck pain. Please do not do it. Do what you can. Just breathe in, bring your chest up. Hold it and breathe out. When you do it once, next we'll do good answer. So hands at the sides. You breathe in, you come up, look up. And breathe out. Again. And down. Again. This side you're going to go up and then look on your right. Make sure your legs are apart a bit. So you breathe in. Then you look right. You're trying to look at the left heel. If you can. Then you breathe out. Breathe in, left, breathe out. Again, right, center, breathe in, left. We do last one, breathe in, go up, breathe out, breathe in. Next, put your right hand over your so left hand over your right hand and you breathe in and you make sure your hands are straight and you look up, hold the breath and come down. Okay. Come down. Last time. Yeah. Next, put your make a face, so put it under your thigh, and you're going to lift the leg up again one at a time. Last time, do that. Next, we're going to do. Superman pose. So right hand in the front, left hand on your back, and breathe in. Bring your right hand up and the left leg up. Hold it and down. Again. And last time. This hop over. Left hand up and right leg up. 
Last one. Both hands at the back. Hold it, you breathe in. And you look up, bringing your feet up as well. So breathe in. You catch the surface if you can. So we put both legs together. And down. One more. And relax. Just take a deep breath. And just push one hand. And just put your head over your hands and wait for a few minutes. When you're ready, whenever you turn, go on your side, slowly and turn on your back. Are you going to do Makatasana? It's also good for your sciatic pain, your digestive system, your back pain. So if you hands at the side, and then <coughs> <laughs> Bring your both, bend your knees, and then you go on your right. You breathe in, and the head at the back. Hold it. Bring it center. Breathe in. Go on the left. Center. Right. Center. Left, center, right, center, left, center. Just right. <coughs> slightly apart your leg, and then go. try to touch the right knee with your left, uh, right heel with the left knee. So you breathe in, head on the left, legs on the right. Hold it, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. <coughs> Straighten your legs again. And then this time you're going to lift one leg and you go right leg. Touch this, so breathe in. Bring your left leg towards your right hand and hold it with down if you can. And your head on the right. Hold it. Breathe out. Come back center. <coughs> Do the same thing with the left leg. Up. Right. Hold. Center. Right. Go left, hold it, center, left, <coughs> go on right, hold, back, last time, right leg up, left, center, left leg up, go on your right, and back. Relax. Next, we will do the Nokasan. It's like a boat shape. So you breathe in, your hand in the front. As you breathe in, you come up, legs up, and you can lift up. So you breathe in, you bring your legs up. You can make the boat, hold it. You come down. You do three times. So again, as high as you can, if you can. Breathe out. Last time. And relax. Next, we do Bhavan Mukhasan. So, both legs up floor, and then you bend your right knee, right leg, and support your knee. You turn to your finger and support your knee. And you breathe in, and you come up. Try to touch your knee with your nose 
people who got very severe back pain or uh, neck pain or spondylitis, please don't do it. Hold it. And uh, let's <coughs> do that, right? Do that. Left. Do that. Right. Do that. Left. Do that. Now, this time we're going to do with both legs. So, <laughs> put your fingers again and do the same thing. Okay, if you can. Like we tuck it, breathe in, hold, and breathe out. And then you can walk backwards and forwards. It's good for your digestive system, weight loss, and also remove all the gas. If you can't do this one, do the sideways. And relax. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the leg like exercise, weight loss. So support your back with your hands underneath your waist. <clears throat> when you breathe in and out, and you lift one leg at a time. So breathe in. <clears throat> 10. Now, we're going to rotate the right leg, bring it right out, make a big circle. And reverse. We do it with the left leg. And ten. Reverse. And relax. <clears throat> Next, we're going to do cycling. So make sure you don't do paddling. So bend your knees and then push it out. Reverse. Relax. <clears throat> I didn't do it with the two legs, but you can do it with the both legs if you can. But you can just relax now. So, do the sarasan. So, leg apart and your, your hands beside your thigh. And open your palms. Close your eyes. And relax completely. During the deep sleep. Take a deep breath in and out. Relax. And we put all the energy that we have gathered from top to <coughs> bottom, and from bottom to top, including all your <coughs> toes, your feet, your ankle, your legs. Your knees, your thighs, and feel your hands, the side, fingers, your arms, your hips, and all your internal organs, your stomach. Thank you. 
chest, lungs, your heart. Your neck, your throat. Into your face, into the eye, nose, the forehead, the ears, the brain. This will completely calm your body after all the physical exercise. Strong with your fingers and your toes, feel it. Bring your hands, <coughs> rub your hands together. Keep your eyes closed. Then put your hands over your eyes. And slowly, slowly open your eyes. And you have all the energy in your forehead. Then you slowly turn, <coughs> bend your knees. Then go on your side. Just put your hand like a stick, like a baby. It's best to do on your left side because of your heart. Keep your heart healthy. Then you come up slowly <coughs> and you're ready. <coughs> I'm going to wave my hands out. Yeah. Thank you, Manny. That was excellent. Well done. So we go on to now the so Umaji doing all the shoulder and the posture exercise, and that's why. She's committed. That's why her level of oxygen is 99 all the time. You have to do it. Can you see if I love her? See, they can see you. You look, but your floor exercise, I like to do them in bed when I get up or go to bed nighttime. Then you're lying flat anyway. And that might be the some option for people who are not able to go on the floor up and down all the time. So during the night time when you go in, when you when you go to bed you can do those back exercises your back pain that's why I have a back pain so I do that in the early morning when I get up bone muktasan and then the leg exercise for weight loss and things like that which is another way of doing it as well okay that's excellent so now let's go back to now Saranji we can uh, we if if uh, people have got the monitor. We can do it uh, one day, you know, everybody bring the monitor and we, we monitor our uh, level oh, before yeah, we start yeah. the exercise and then we, and then we, we monitor the end of milk. That's right. One thing, if you do it all the time, your level will be 98, 99 all the time anyway. Yeah. Even before as well, because you're, you're doing it every day, so your lung has already expanded. It's like myself, I find every time I do it, it's 98, 99, because you're, you're doing so much exercise daily that mm -hmm. lung has gone the maximum capacity. So it's, it, it can't extend any yeah. further than no. you, you already no. have done it. No. No. Kind of Wait, idea. People, so people, want people, to. People, people who have out of breath, have yeah. asthma and things like that, for them, if they do that, they can see the improvement right away. I think I anti. Mm -hmm. If people who are out of breath very easily, if they do the exercise and then check the oxygen level, you find the oxygen level will, will get up higher. Before maybe 96, 95, 93. It'll go up to 98, 99 very quickly within a second. Just by doing the exercise. Very important. Excellent. Well done, I'm my dear. to 99. Ah, that's good. Excellent. Excellent. It's 99. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it works, you know. Just yeah. a matter of believing in yourself. Anything we're doing is, 
I'm glad to saw me just teach us all those things uh, for improving your health and healthy your true wealth. And really, you have to look after yourself. And the lung is one of the important organ to energize the body, give you more oxygenated blood. So through the blood supply, that oxygen supply can go to all the muscles, all the organs to perform their task and promote good health. Very important. Now let's go into the next pranayam. We've done the bhastika, we've done all the exercise. Next one is kapal bhakti. It's one of the important exercises to detox. If I cut my hands and fix off, exercise it in all the internal organs. My lung, my heart, my liver, gallbladder, pancreas, my spleen, my both kidney, my prostate, and female, the ovary and uterus, everything is exercise. When you exercise the organs, any lipid fat around the organ dissolves and goes through the excretory system, and the organ can perform the optimum task to promote overall health. As Swami just said, we're working on your system, not on your symptom. Jobi bimari hai, uspa hum kam nahi kar rahe. Hum aapke de ki jitne purja hai, uspa kam kar rahe. Aapka de ka sab purja ya achhi tarah kam karega. Have all the nutrients and oxygen supply. Automatically, all your symptom will go away. That's the whole science of Swamiji teaching is. Body is like a machine. It's a different part. They all have to, they all interconnected. One affects the other. So make sure all the parts are working well. And that's what yoga does. So now let's focus on Kapal Bharti. First, we want to correct your posture. So put your hand like this, take you all the way back up to the top and do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds, focusing on your spine. Important one is also you stretch your leg in the front, you shake them up, just relax, and take your right leg over the left leg. Right hand, don't hold it too far back, hold as close to your body as possible. Just by holding it close, your spine becomes straighter. And the left hand comes up like this. You twist yourself towards the right side and you do kapalva. Hand goes as close to your body behind your jaw, right hand comes up across there. You're twisting yourself towards the left side and do kapal. Also good to do. A lot of people have frozen shoulder, and winter is coming. And also with people with diabetes, more likely to happen. So open your palm of your hand and take your left, right hand round, wrap around the left hand like this, and look up. Prevention is better than cure. If you do that daily, you won't get frozen shoulder. And do kapal varti for thirty seconds or ten seconds.
Hand relax. Excellent. Now do the same thing, both hands forward. This time, your left hand wrap around the right hand. Look up and do Kapalvati for 10 seconds. This is part of an eagle pose, pardon me. And relax. Next is part of a Gomukhasan. Take your right hand on the top back of here and use your left hand to push your knee as far back as you can. And then use your left hand to grab your right hand if you can. Otherwise, you can use your napkin or use your bead rope with a nose on it. And look up and look up all that. And relax. Do the same thing with left hand all the way back up. Push it with right hand if you can. And left hand goes behind your back. Look up. And relax. Last but not the least is the do the namaste behind your back if you can, looking pointing up the way. Very good for frozen shoulder. Palbati was a good exercise for respiratory disease it's because you're working on your lung. Relax. Now next, we're going to do for next one and a half minutes each mudra, the six mudra for nine minutes. But anytime you feel tired, take a rest, listen to your body. And don't do too fast, one per second, 60 per minute with gentle pressure, one half minute. So first, let's so just take a deep breath, just relax yourself. So first is Udan mudra, four finger touching together. Put it across there if you can. And twisting line, you do Kapal Bharti, twist turning line for one and a half minutes, gently. <laughs> Then you change it to Vayu Mudra, index finger, base of the thumb. That's to get rid of any Vayu Dosa.
<clears throat> next is the pranada. Anytime you feel tired, just take a rest and start again. Little finger and the ring finger. That gets prana to the body and very good for eyesight. Keep doing it to get the maximum benefit of Kapalvati. You have to do it continuously. It's just like cooking a rice. If you take the rice of the fire every for a couple of minutes, it won't cook. And that same way, to energize the organ, to detox, you have to do it continuously. And when you do training, we do five minutes each one. Next, we go to the Apan Mudra, your middle and the ring finger touching together, put your hand to the shoulder level and twisting right, which helps to get your toxin. And relax. Next, we go into the liver relaxant. Your ring finger, Suri Mudra, very important. This is able to energize your liver. Doing continuously, you're going to detox your body of all the toxins. And relax. And the last one is the people with low blood pressure, Ling Mudra, otherwise upon Vayu Mudra for high blood pressure. Vayu Mudra and upon Mudra. Let's do that for the last one minute.
early lies. You've been sitting for some time, you stretch your legs, you shake them up. We can do some grinding. Take your guy in the front, you go forward, you breathe out, and when you go, go backward, you breathe in, when you go forward, you breathe out. <laughs> And to the opposite. Early life. Now both legs apart and the side, each hand is touching the opposite toes. Which of a leg goes forward, opposite hand goes forward. Well done. Now sit in the people can sit down to sit in the Bajrasan. We do the Mandukasan, very important to exercise your liver. Very good for diabetes as well. And your pancreas as well. And your spleen, all three at the same time. Make a tight fist. Or you can sit in the chair, no problem. Whatever posture you're sitting in, take a deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Put the other side of your belly button and you go down. And look up and do Kapal Bhati in one per second with gentle breathing for, for 10 times. And gently breathing in and out, come up. And once more. Gently come up, breathing now. You do it for third time, this for 30 seconds. Kapava. <laughs> Exercise is put your both hand forward, make a four finger tight fist, and put the thumb on the top. You do a half an hour 
before the just before the meal 20 times. Excellent. Next, just we do the gentle deep breathing again for 30 seconds. Whenever you're tired, just go into the bus car for a couple of minutes. That gives you vitality, energy itself. With Maniji, you had all the exercise, nitric oxide, which is excellent to give you stamina and everything else. It was a complete package today. If you do that daily, your, your, your health bound to improve 100%. Guaranteed. Otherwise, money back. Money is not everything. It's all about friendship, some kind of relationship which you have given us. That's more can that can pay more than anything. We become like a family. That's important. to make sure you're all okay. You're doing well. And next, next is Ujjayi, very important. Have you not done massage? Or are we not doing that one second? Wouldn't you have to give us a time they come? We're oh. just trying to move past the guy. Because I was trying to work on the liver and everything else. Massage, okay. well, not high important, but not that. That's why I didn't do it. Sorry, thanks, Manny. Okay. If you want to do it, we can do it if you want. You know, just, no, 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 there so, we go. That's okay. So let's do the Ujjayi, <laughs> which is very important to balance your hormone. Hormones are a very important part of health because they are like a communication between the brain and all the organs. So hormone needs to be balanced. If you don't balance, you're underactive, overactive, it becomes, makes you gain weight or lose weight. It, both ways it's harming you, underactive or overactive. So this helps to balance it. So you clamp the throat and Kichiri Mudra and take a deep breath, the short one, and then the long one, And then put your chin down. That helps to massage the thyroid gland for at least 10 seconds. Then close your right nostril, come up and breathe from left to cool the down. And for last time. <laughs> Excellent. Next important one is alone below, after him, lost all belly. We do that for three to five minutes. So sitting in Gyan Mudra, left hand, right hand in Sunni Vayu Mudra, index finger and the middle finger, base of thumb, like this. Need to be nice and relaxed. Whichever posture you're sitting in, Sukhasan, Padmasan on the chair, no problem. Close your right nostril. If we do in Kichi Mudra, the breath will be deeper. The more chance of difference in temperature will be bigger. The more chance of clearing any blockage, energy channel and so on.
One more minute to go. Don't give up. If you're tired, use the other hand. Like Kapal Bharti, this is a Sanjeevani as well, alone below. Very important exercise. Help to clear your blockage in any kind of artery and energy channel. And relax, excellent. Don't know, you might know it, you don't know it. If you have a high blood pressure, then what we we'll want to do is close your right nostril. If you if you have high blood pressure, you're prone to high blood pressure. Close your right nostril, breathe from left. Then block your left and breathe out from right. Do the same thing again. हर दम लेफ्ट से सांस लेना है और राइट से छोड़ना है आपके चंद नाली को एक्टिवेट करना है एंड पीपल विद लो ब्लड प्रेशर दे हैव टू एक्टिवेट द सूर्य नाली So you connect to your left nostril, you breathe from right, and breathe out from left. Breathe in from right. I'm just giving you some example. If you have the low blood pressure or high blood pressure, take your blood pressure and try this exercise for five minutes. And then take your pressure; it will go down automatically. Very simple. Next, we'll do some hand exercise again. Put your both hands in the front. A nice and kind of very good for arthritis of finger, carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, frozen shoulder. Prevents overall health. Gently, and then make a tight fit. Come this time, go inside and press it. Then put hand there, breathing in, and breathe out. Then make a tight fist, both hand together, keeping your hand straight. Very good for carpal tunnel. And do the opposite. Next, put your both knuckles together. Without opening it, you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe out. Open the knuckle and come back. <laughs> It's very good for your frozen shoulder. Excellent. Next, with your both hand in the front, breathing in, and jerk out. <laughs> Then keeping your hand there, go sideways. Oh. Then keeping your hand there, touch the front as you breathe. Then you go up and breathe out. And do the opposite. Next, 
interlock your finger, take it all the way out, your hand to be touching the ears, breathe in and breathe out, making a triangle. Excellent. Next, put your interlock your finger. Very good for prevention of spondylitis. These days happening to more people working the computer mm -hmm. in certain posture. Put the pressure each other. Hold it for 10 seconds if you can. And relax. Once more. Same thing with right hand. Once more. Then the left hand. Then interlock your finger on your forehead. Then put your hand on knee, massage your knee, and rolling your shoulder line. And do the opposite. When I'm doing this, my bone is creaking. I need some WD-40 to fix the creaking sign. You need omega-3. You have to take more of omega-3, flaxseed. Avocado, uh, almond, you know, the walnut, they all have omega 3 in it as well. Excellent. And relax. Next, interlock your finger. Uh, interlock your finger. No, we don't. No, we don't that. Next exercise. Chin down, sorry. And you breathe in, breathe out, and go up, breathe in. Excellent. Now use your head like a pendulum as you breathe in and breathe out. Then breathe in and look behind your back. Then take the head on the circle gently. Then do the opposite. Excellent. Well done. Next, we're going to the Brahmari, Udgit, and Pranav. Take your glasses off, Use your thumb to close your earlobe, index finger, and then covering your four eyes, and doing Kichu Mudra like a bumblebee for three times. Sitting in Gyan Mudra, we chant Om for three times. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. 
keeping eyes closed in Gyan Mudra, we do a bit of meditation in the form of pranam, which is silent, deep breathing, focusing on your third eye. And if you're doing Kitri Mudra, it makes it easier. Gently take your both hands up in there, start them together. Excellent. So now, Mani, if you don't mind, take the class to the finishing, since you've done a lot of hard work as well. Thank you. Can we do the prayer first? Yeah, yeah do the prayer first. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om. <laughs> Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaha, Sarve Bhavani Prashantu, Mahakashi Bhavave. Om Shanti Om. We go like the lions. So <coughs> take a deep breath and wait. Nibla, you're doing a very good job, I can see. <laughs> I did do the last leg in. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Everybody, thank you, Manini. Thank, so, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Manini. Thank you, Sarah. It was nice. Thank you. Enjoy.